Hi everybody, this is Daniel from the GoTo family. Today I'm going to give you guys a tour of Disney's Beach Club Resort. Now, if the name sounds familiar, it's because it is connected to Disney's Yacht Club Resort, which we also have a video of. So these two are like brother or sister resorts. They're right next to each other and you can go from one to the other. They share the same pool, they share some of the same things. So they're very close to each other. But there are some uh, minor differences and I'm going to show you guys what the inside looks like. So we're going to do a tour of the whole uh, resort. We're going to go through the lobby and then I'm going to show you guys around everything that there is to see and do here at Disney's uh, Beach Club Resort. Now, right now I am sitting uh, just in front of the main building and to my left actually is the bus stop. It's not right here. It's under uh, at the end of this arcade over there. So similar concept to Disney's Yacht Club where you have the bus stop right here. And the bus is very, very similar uh, to Disney's Yacht Club in the sense that the bus usually first goes to Disney's Yacht Club and then it comes to the Beach Club and people either get on or get off right here and then uh, it goes to the same destinations as the buses over there. All right guys, so let's start this tour. Let's go in through the lobby. Let's check out Disney's Beach Club Resort. And right off the bat, we noticed some differences uh, between uh, Disney's Yacht Club and Disney's Beach Club. This one is more blue uh, compared to the kind of beige, you know, look of Disney's Yacht Club. So already we could spot a minor difference. It looks a little different as well. So this is what the entrance to the main lobby looks like. You can see an old car right here, right by the entrance, an old Chevy, just for decoration. This kind of reminds me of um, the Grand Floridian, actually, which also has some cars like this by the entrance. So pretty cool, guys. Let's go in. Ah, feels so good. So just like at Disney's Yacht Club, you can go directly to your room if you complete the online check-in service. So you don't even have to actually check in. Very, very easy and convenient. So here we go, guys. This is the main lobby. And we're gonna walk to the right first. And right here we have Cape May Cafe. So Cape May Cafe is a family style feast. And you can see some of the things that they have here. But I believe this is kind of like a buffet where they bring the food to your table. Now, it doesn't look very open right now, but I believe that's what it is. So you sit down and you can see in the center, there is, uh, it looks like a buffet and you will order things and they will bring things uh, to your table. And I believe it is unlimited. So if you order like shellfish, like mussels, uh, you know, and clams, or I forget the options exactly, but they will bring you as much of that as you want. And we can just see what it looks like. It's too bad that it's closed. I would have liked to see the food that they're serving, but we can just get a glimpse for what the seating area looks like. It looks very nice, um, comfortable as well. You can see they have a lot of booth spaces. So if you're traveling with kids, your kids are going to prefer the booths usually just because they have more room to move around. And uh, let's see what else is this way. Okay, so Martha Vineyard Lounge is right here. Right here, this is Martha's Vineyard. This is it. It doesn't look very open right now either. So not very open looking. And they have this area blocked off here. And this is area also, also blocked off. So I can't show you guys much here, but we can see where we are right now. So that way it's Cape May Cafe, we were just there. This is where I actually wanted to go to, Beaches and Cream Soda Shop. Yeah. 
from Moore, so I was all the way down there already. So we're inside Beaches and Cream, guys. So we just looked at the menu outside uh, of what you can order. So you can come here, you can get some food, but definitely what you want to get if you come here is their ice cream. I believe they make a killer sundae, and I think we're seeing some people ordering it in front of us. And this is what it looks like, guys. So I don't want to disturb people more than that, so we're just going to walk back outside. I just wanted to show you guys quickly. Oh, look at this, guys. So they also have an arcade. So we got an arcade in here, guys. I didn't even know that there was an arcade. Peter Totter Castle, Pirate Hook, Typhoon. This place is actually more packed than I thought it would be. There's actually quite a few people in here. Often when I go to these arcades at these hotels or resorts, there's not really anybody inside. So you can see here they have a ski ball, Blazing Angels. You can shoot some hoops over there. Of course, you can play ice hockey. I love playing ice hockey. You can play some super bikes. And this is like a little arcade that they have, a covered area where you can walk to go to the pool, but you can also walk in between the two resorts, in between the yacht club and the beach club. So all these areas, the arcade is kind of like in between the two, also beaches and cream, but more on the side of the beach club than on the yacht club. So we're gonna go and get our band. Hello. I like the get a band. So we're gonna scan that. Thank you, Mr. Daniel. Yes. So you scanned your magic band, thank you. You scan your magic band and then you're ready to go. So this is the pool, guys. It's amazing, it's really nice. I'll give you guys a small tour right now and I'll show you guys some GoPro footage. So right here we have almost like a jacuzzi. And you can enter the pool right here, guys. Guys, this pool is so big, I won't be able to show you guys I don't think I'll be able to show you guys the whole pool, but you get the idea when you look here. It goes around and around, guys, so it goes from here uh, over there in the end. You also have a big slide. I'm going to show you guys some footage of that. And you can see they have all these bridges to go across because the, the pool is, is just so huge and it's just winding all over the place. And right over there, we have a lazy river, guys. It's really nice. Uh, I would say that it's really deep, but it's, it's really nice, guys. You can see people are just slowly going around the lazy river. The lazy river. <laughs> they also have a sand area in here as well to really make it authentic, like you're on an actual sand beach. I will say definitely on a warm, sunny day like today, you want to get here pretty early if you want to get shaded seats. As you can see, not every seat is shaded. So you definitely want to come here and you can either get seats that have actual umbrellas or seats that are just below a tree and just have tree shading. But as you can see, some seats are not shaded at all. Let's see if I can spot the crew here. Oh, there they are. They are having fun on the sand beach. Like I told you guys, they have a sand beach here and the kids absolutely love the sand beach. It looks just like you are on an actual sand beach. It's amazing. And uh, this is the Bayside Marina. So right over here is where you can take a boat to go 
Well, you can go to, uh, I believe, to Epcot, and you can also go to Hollywood Studios from here. And you can see that right now, we are at the marina. So you can see that right here, which is where we were just facing, um, there is transportation to Epcot and Disney's Hollywood Studios. We're actually gonna walk this way towards Epcot actually. So right now we're at the marina and we're gonna keep our tour moving this way. So that's where you could get the boat transportation services here at the marina. And this is gonna be really cool, guys. So two things I wanna show you guys here. First off, just look at how this water is just kind of flowing here in the lake. It almost looks like it's flowing from the pool and going into the lake. I don't believe it is, but it looks like it might be. And this is the pool. Of course, the pool water will have uh, chlorine, I believe. So I'm not sure if you can uh, get that flowing into the lake. And here we could see the beach. We're just on the other side over there. But I did say that I wanted to show you guys two things. So number one is going to be Hurricane Hannah's. This is a waterside bar and grill right here. So you can come here and you can grab a drink. They make excellent uh, margaritas. You can also get uh, kids meals. You can grab and go uh, food here. So you can get a seafood roll. Uh, for $11.79. You can get a Greek salad, Caesar salad with chicken, hummus, and pita chips, fresh fruit, Italian focaccia sandwich, and turkey and Swiss sandwich. And of course, they're gonna be serving some drinks here as well. So Hurricane Hannah's right here. And you can also come here, and they actually have two TVs, so. Now there's a lot of people waiting in line and I'm not jumping the line. I'm just here to kind of show you guys what it is. So you can see their drink menu is in the back there. They have uh, on the rocks, they have featured cocktails, frozen um, drinks, and they have sangria and non-alcoholic as well. And they actually also have a small seating area here, just a few tables. Next thing that I wanted to show you guys, and this is really cool guys. So this is actually a slide. So you can see here this big boat. This is just like a, a giant decoration for the slide that kind of goes from all the way over there. And this is how you get to it. You have to walk out of the pool. So you can see that there's people waiting there by the stairs to get on this big old slide. And you can just see how it goes all around and around and eventually you land in the pool that is the final destination you land on the far side of the pool really cool really cool the only thing is you have to walk out you have to come out of the pool so you have some doors over there and you have to walk all around so really cool slide but it's a bit of a walk to, to get to it so it might not be one of those slides where you kind of go up and down the slide like a hundred times just because of the walk involved. So usually um, I come through these doors here to go to the slide. Now we see we have some lounge chairs here as well. This actually looks like a real beach, but of course the water is blocked off. So you can't go in the water uh, if, you, if you wanted to, but it looks like a real beach minus the <laughs> being able to go in the water part. That way guys is Epcot. It's about an eight minute walk. Perhaps from here, maybe a six or five minute walk. It's really, really close. And that is gonna be one of the reasons why you wanna stay here, just because of the proximity to Epcot. So right now, I don't know if this is right, guys. I feel like this is wrong. It's telling me that we are here, but that looks like we're inside the resort, whereas I feel like we're around here. So we have the boat that we just passed, and we're right next to it. So we can see that this is the Beach Club Resort. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm going to go inside the Beach and Club Resort. I banged my head. We'll just go on this side. 
Now we're kind of doing this um, the other way around, so we're coming through the back side. I believe this is going to be the lobby. Definitely looks like it got more packed since I was here just a few minutes ago. And the seating area looks a little different here. It definitely looks a little more packed, maybe just a little more crammed up maybe. Whereas I find that the Yacht Club looks a little more spacious. We got the elevators here and this is the marketplace. So the beach club marketplace. And you can see they have Havaianas once again. Slightly different collection. I'm not sure if we saw these at the Yacht Club. These are the female version. I think we saw the male version of these Havaianas. We have some kind of worn out, this kind of faded look Mickey hats right here. You can get some Star Wars underwear. Same Disney Resorts products. You can also buy some earrings and things of that nature here as well. You can buy some towels here. Even Monopoly games. Or Clue. I don't know, I feel like perhaps they have a little more toys and things for kids here. I, I could be wrong, but it just feels like they have a little more. Perhaps this store is just a little bigger. At least the, the gift shop side of things, where you can buy toys and things for kids. Have your coffees over there, and we're gonna have, it's basically like a little cafe, uh, a little area where you can serve yourself food or you can order some things that you take to go. So, fruits, oranges, apples, you have your snacks, your chips over there. I don't wanna spend as much time on here because I feel like you guys kinda get the point of uh, what they have here. Uh, they're gonna have hot dogs, bacon. Here you have your fountain drinks. Have your snacks here, your candy, I shall say. You can buy a mini pink velvet cupcake right there. That looks really nice. You can get a cup of grapes, a parfait with strawberries and blueberries. You can even get, look at this, they have plates of cheese that you could get. So they kind of have you covered, really. Depending on your craving, they kind of got you covered all around. And on this side they have sandwiches. They have a roast beef sandwich. Yeah. Turkey and Swiss. The best of our turkey is coming. It's not here right now. Oh, okay. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> oh, an Italian sandwich. Nice. I believe that I kind of showed you guys around. You could see what else they have. Wines. All right guys, so this is gonna do it for our Disney Beach Club Resort Tour. I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informational if you come uh, to check in here to stay a few days uh, right here. If you guys have any questions about this place or any of the other places that we have shown you guys on the channel, please don't hesitate to write us in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. 
Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for more content from the GoTo family. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.